Oh, hi, gozaimasu guys. Welcome, it's me, Michael G. Welcome yet into another video on my YouTube channel. Today, I would like to show you my Deldry. As I said in the previous video, we are going to do showcase on her. On level 80, 6 stars, ultimate 2 out of 6. Without further ado, let's hop into that. And before that, if you enjoy the content, consider leaving a sub below this video. So this is my Deldry. We are going to use her today in the ungeared PvP and we will see how she is going to work. I did try her out in the geared but my CP is low so that didn't work out. Let's go for the skills. First skill, unhappy hit, single target, 160-240 for 100% of the damage and apply fatal. Skill 2, blow kiss, single target, apply toned buff on an ally and increase HP related skills by 10, 20, 30% for 1, 1 and 2 turns. Ultimate, love drive, all enemies deals 360% damage and prevents ultimate gauge from increasing for 1 turn. And the passive, the passive is what we are looking for on her, love slave, PvP only, so remember it's guys, it's only PvP. Attracts one enemy causing their skills to miss when attacking Deldry. Applicable once when Deldry participates in battle. So I need to clarify that for a little bit. Because attracts one enemy causing their skills to miss when attacking Deldry. That also can be used if an opponent that Deldry is love enslaving is going to use AoE. So all AoE on that enemy is going to miss and that's not only for one turn that's for whole battle that Deldry is participating in so the passive is kind of broken if she can taunt a good enemy like demon blue melee like goater most of the time if she does opponent is playing only with two characters I would like to show you my team for PvP and how she will work with just two fights. Let's go into PvP team. So my team is Blue King, Escanor, Deldry and Merlin. I'm going to use CP Foot, about 109k with CP Foot. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how this will work. Into the first match guys. Welcome, welcome back. And we are facing and that's a different combination, Goater, Blue Elizabeth and King. So as you can see, Deldry taunted Goater. So every attack that Goater is going to do is going to miss. That's one of the best, I would say that's the best outcome, at least for this fight. Because Goater only have AoE skills. You most likely will need to look for characters that are only AoE, like Blue Demon Melee, like Goater, like who else is all AoE? Blue uh, Lilia would be as well a nice target. So Goater is not going to do anything, at least on this fight. But my Escano is going to clean out all of those stuff. He's kind of buffed at the moment, I did bought a couple costumes for him, so that looks nice. That's a pretty different team that I didn't really expect to face in the ungeared, but who knows, at least the Elizabeth is level 80. You could use her with level 60 to just go for ultimate, but he wanted... As you can see, the AoE from Goater missed, and that means the... Goater is out of play most of the time, but a little point here. Ultimate doesn't count. Ultimate is not a single single attack from an enemy, it's just an ultimate attack. So this doesn't prevent ultimates. So we need to clean him up on this turn, yes, that's nice. And some people ask me if Deldry is okay for PvP. She's okay-ish for ungeared. If you can go for 180k CP, 175k CP with geared, without using foot, 
she will be good she will be good but without having that high cp i don't think she is worth it going for geared at least ungeared she can do some pretty amazing stuff and i i'm not really regretting going for her going for L A A T her that was a pretty good decision in my opinion I was kind of in a state that I didn't really have any great teams to play in PvP because most of the teams that I did play are just kind of get bored of so I'm looking for more teams to play with and she is giving so much nice action on the board so first fight that was pretty easy let's go for the second one guys hopefully we can face like blue lily or something so she can be used a little bit better in this time at least goater was out of play most of the time so that's good that's good this is the only thing that we are looking for when playing with deldry because she's not an attacker her taunt might be pretty useful at some point if you can know how to use it as well okay so we are having blue melee Goater and Gloxinia and she attracted Blumeli. So Blumeli is out of play, at least his first skill. His second skill with Corrosion is still possible to do, as you will be able to see in a second, but Estonor is doing some stuff. And we are going to stun the Goater, so he's not going to be able to level up Gloxinia attacks. And people still don't realize how Delger is working because I did a couple of fights yesterday and a lot of people were still attacking with the Demon Meliodas or Blue Lilia even if they were attracted by Delger. As you can see the first skill didn't do anything but he can still do some stuff with the second skill. But we are going to outheal that and hopefully we can kill the Glocks here. I still wasn't able to pull Gloxinia. That's kind of sad. All of the commandments are kind of avoiding me, except the Gallant. The only commandment that I have is Gallant. Okay, let's let's give me some extra attacks from Demon Melee so we can see how passive from Deldry is working. Yes, level two, miss. And this is not going to miss, but overall, a pretty OP passive, in my opinion. If she can taunt a good en enemy, of course. Taunting someone like Escanar is not really that great because he's single target only. He's most of the time targeting like Blue King, Blue Lilia. So he's not going to target Daldry at all. So you are looking for someone who's doing AoE damage most of the time. My CP in Ungeared is pretty pretty high, so most of those fights are kind of easy. I can say that with Geared at least. Not yet, not yet. We are getting there guys, we are getting there. So what do you think about Deldry? Write down below this video in the comment section if do you think is it even worth it to go for her. And we will see how much her 3 level is going to do not going to be much I think it's not going to be much yeah 12k <laughs> that's like that's really bad but we are taking her not for her skills but her for her passive as well her ultimate is kind of okay ish because he's preventing ultimate gold from increasing for one turn as well for the enemies so that's okay not going to say that's bad the damage is kind of okay ish but the animation looks nice, looks cute, looks cute. So that's going to be it guys for today PvP geared with Deldry. She's another good option if you don't have meta breaking units like Blue Demon Mali. She's another good option guys. And that's going to be it for me today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, consider leaving a sub below this video, that would help me greatly and I would like to say thank you for for first 50 subs on this channel, that was such an, an amazing thing that I saw yesterday. Thank you very much guys for that.